Good morning, good morning. It is uh, 2.48 a.m. It is a Friday. I'm on my way to the gym right now. I remember, I remember my grandmother saying something to the, to the fact of being, <clears throat> having empathy, having empathy. She says, Jermaine, not, and I remember her saying this, not everybody, and she didn't say it. My grandmother never said anything to me in a malicious way, more so in a teaching kind of way. And she says, nobody, she says, not everybody is a pull yourself up by the bootstraps type of individual. But what I'm getting ready to say, I I want you to, I want you to hear this very, very clear. For as many videos as I do, for as much as I talk, for as much as if you search my social media, for as much as you encounter me, you would say that this guy is pretty, he is is pretty positive. Um, And on the surface, he must not have any problems. And therefore, that's why he is in a positive state of mind. Well, I would tell you, if you thought that about me, you would be completely wrong. (laughs) You wouldn't just be wrong, you'd be dead wrong. Because I don't think, matter of fact, I know that that's not the case for anybody. I don't care if you're the president of the United States. I don't care if you're Jeff Bezos. I don't care if you're the richest man in the world. You gotta have problems. You are going to have issues and I it seems like every single morning I could have went to bed with no issues and for some reason there's this little voice inside of me waking me up talking about you got some issues sometimes I wake up uh, singing Tupac me against the world other times I wake up talking about God's got it in his hands I don't know So when my grandmother said have empathy, which is what she was alluding to when she says that um, not everybody has to pick themselves up by the bootstrap type of individual, meaning not everybody's going to be able to pull themselves up off the ground. Some people need help. And I get that. I'm not going to say from the from the womb to the tomb, I done pulled myself up every single day on my own and I made it happen because had that pastor not coming to that church when I was 13, 14 years old or coming to that that prison, that, that, that makeshift prison uh, chow hall, dining hall, and told me that I should trust in God because I've, I've already done it on my own, then I probably would not have got that word when I did. So when I'm thinking about it, I'm I'm getting ready to get in the car and I'm thinking about how I had just been challenged. I mean, every morning I am challenged. I take these ice cold showers first thing in the morning because I know that ultimately that source that likes to come into my body and try to wreak havoc Fleas. If if I was perfect, I would not be human. But I have empathy. Because there's people who have less faith than I do and go and find themselves inside of those those mental traps and if i can bring if i can come out of it fast take a shower maybe remind myself of how fortunate and blessed i am reflect on what i'm doing You know, there's a million and one ways that I can use tools that I can use at my disposal to 
quiet down the voice because I'm I'm well studied. My faith relies in what I've read and how I've applied it so that I know it works. But God forbid the person who is, who is less studied but yet just as challenged as I am. Oof. Eesh. Everything starts looking like a heart attack. Everything starts looking magnified. Even small, little, tiny, minute problems become, just look huge. They just look out this world. And that's why it says you must fit yourself with the whole armor of God. You must put everything on. You must put on a mental armor of, of what's in your mind. You must put on a, men, a physical armor of what's on your body. You must come with the full armor. Because every part of your body is going to be attacked. And the fact of the matter is, is a tank is really good. But if the tank has an, uh, uh, an exposed undercarriage. That exposed undercarriage only ends up being to the detriment of to the integrity of the craftsmanship of the armored vehicle. In layman's terms, when you leave something open and vulnerable, you leave yourself open and vulnerable. You might think that you're physically intact. You might think that you are uh, 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 healthy-wise, you're intact, but yet you're leaving your brain and your mind and your spirit open because you're not fully girded with the word. I was talking to Malachi yesterday and I said, the reason why it's important to know your word because it teaches you so much. I mean, let's be honest, you probably could bypass school if you just wanted to read the Bible and meditate it on all day. It'll teach you all, it'll teach you everything you need to know about life. It'll teach you about agriculture, how to plant and how to sow. It'll teach you about marriage, how to love unconditionally. It'll teach you about finances, how to pray on what you got to sow, to give, to tithe, and receive double. That's all in the Bible. I just broke down what most people's problems are and said, this is how you can get it correct. Again, doesn't mean you're going to be without challenge. I am not alluding to the fact, nor will I ever allude to the fact that you will be without trouble or challenges. At all. I think the challenges are are simply there to test your faith. Who you are. Me and my wife were riding down the street yesterday. I said, man, I said, I said, we got to understand something. I said, God, you know, he hear your lip service. He hear what you're talking about. He hears what you're talking about. But do you, are you are you in faith to the point where you, when you've already asked for something that you're willing to be stale and wait for it to happen? Or do you have that kind of faith that, hey, I need to see something happening right now to stay in it? Because if I if it ain't happening right now, guess what? I'm going to go make something happen. That's not faith. 
that squirming and your uncomfortableness. Huge difference. But God searches your heart. And all the topical cream that you put on the surface, that might fool people on the outside. But the person you want to start working miracles in your life is reading something that you can't hide. The truest intentions of your heart. They rise to your faith. 